Welcome back to Meticulous Mechanic. Today we're going to be removing the camshaft caps. Number one, number two, the intake camshaft cap, and number three, the exhaust camshaft cap. So let's look at camshaft cap number one. That's this guy here. Looks like it has eight bolts. The intake camshaft cap is this one here, four bolts and the exhaust camshaft cap. Say that fast three times. Kind of difficult. So they have a notice here to prevent damage to the cylinder head. Camshafts or camshaft caps. Loosen the camshaft cap bolts in stages and in a crisscross pattern working from the outside in. So this is opposite of when you go to retighten them. When you retighten them it says tighten the camshaft cap bolts in stages and in a crisscross pattern working from the inner caps out. So the camshaft cap bolts are an eight millimeter. I'm gonna start by cracking them loose lightly. And the first pattern is gonna be from the far corners. So here goes number one. Pretty tight. There's one, two would be back here. It's a little funny, it hits right here. I'm gonna try a socket. This socket should give me more leverage because it's longer. So let's put an eight millimeter socket on here. So number two, I'm gonna crack loose. Three will be back here. I've got to be careful when this wrench spins that it doesn't hit this stuff back here. There's number three. Number four will be right here. Just cracking these loose. So now we'll go five, six, seven, eight. There's five, six. socket actually works pretty good. That first wrench was kind of denting my fingers. So now we're going to go 9, 10, 11, 12. So here's number 9. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Then thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Okay, they're all cracked a little bit loose now. So let's go a little bit more. Should be easier this time because there's loose. So one. Two. Three. They're really spinning easy now. They're basically loose. Three. Four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, and nine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So let me repeat that pattern a few more times. And then I should be able to get the caps off. So I did that pattern one more time off camera and everything was basically loose. Now I just took my socket and put it on this little guy here. Assistant adapter. Now I can spin them out easily. My fingers. So here's this back one. Right, there's the first one. Spin the rest of these out. I'm laying these out in a pattern. I'm pretty sure they're all the same, but it's always good to lay them out. I'll show you what, in a sec here. Let me just pause that and take the rest of those out. Okay, I should be able to get camshaft cap one off now. It's always a good idea to lay everything out in a pattern like I did here. So, especially if some things are different lengths. So that'll be ready to put back together after I inspect it and clean it a little bit. So now I'm gonna get the intake camshaft cap off. I'll, do, I'll just do this all off camera, but so I'm gonna undo these four completely. That'll be the intake, and then I'm gonna do the exhaust. And then I'm gonna lay it out like I did the other thing, just to make sure everything's good. with the exhaust cam cap. There's that mark I talked about in the other video. E for exhaust and the arrow is pointing to the left. intake camshaft cap just pulling up kind of jiggling this one's not popping off as easy there we go just had to wiggle it a little bit more so this one has the eye for intake and the arrow pointing to the left
So I did the same thing. I laid all the bolts out so I know exactly where they go. So here it is all laid out. Here's the intake and the E for exhaust. So now I can remove the exhaust cam. There's the exhaust cam. I had someone leave a random comment on one of my videos because they didn't remember which was it which. So you need to for sure remember this is the intake. And I said I couldn't find any identifying marks and I looked in the book. But I'm just going to lay it out for now and then see if I can figure out if they're different. I did look like when you're inspecting these lobe heights and certain diameters, they are different. So there's a way to measure the difference, but as far as identifying marks, I'm going to have to figure that out. So now I can remove the intake camshaft. So on the next video, we're going to remove the buckets and the shims underneath. So I laid everything out so I can remember that this is the intake here and this is the exhaust. So I could see how it'd be really easy to get these confused. So I'm just taking a piece of tape and I'm going to make a little label. Uh, the reason I'm coating it in tape is because it's going to get coated with oil. So one way to tell if you do get it mixed up is this lobe height here should be 1.406 on the exhaust. Depends on, there it is. The intake is 1.428. So that's the answer to the guy that got his intake and exhaust mixed up. This is that camshaft lobe dimension I just measured. If you look at the intake lobe height, it was 1.428 to 1.432. And the one I measured lobe height for the exhaust, 1.406, slightly smaller. It's very easy to get the exhaust and intake cams mixed up. So I made a little label here that says exhaust. I basically just take a piece of paper and coated it in tape so it doesn't degrade the paper so now i can move these around and not get them mixed up so i'm verifying all these bolts are the same length looks like they are that was the exhaust here's the intake Those all look the same. And then cam cap number one. Those look all the same length. Here's the intake. Looks like all the lobes should be off set by 120 degrees. I don't see any really bad wear on here. Here's the exhaust. So 
So it looks like all the bolts are the same length. Just kind of checking. Those look all the same. Go ahead and check all these real quick. So those look all the same. Okay, now I can put everything in the same pile. I think I'll just label this M cap bolts. Put all these in the bag for safekeeping. I could see how easy it would be to get that exhaust cam mixed up, so I'm glad I labeled it, and I'm glad these caps have these the eye of the arrow. Kind of interesting how these go together. Here's where the this is the bearing surface there and there, and this will fit in there like this. And it'll spin. There's some dowel pins here. Pretty cool. So here's camp cap one. So the exhaust would go in here like this. Intake back. Spins really smooth.